If you're still in business, congratulations. I really want to congratulate you because throughout this whole pandemic, it has been a gong show. And that's the reason why I decided to shoot the four new items and the best practices for you to actually thrive in the new normal. So make sure you guys keep watching until the end. Hey guys, it's Wilson here, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Really want to congratulate these two individuals for their love and support in this world. We need much, much, much more of these love and positivity flowing around. And that's the reason why I truly, truly appreciate it. So if you guys want to get a shout out, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And then that way we can see and spread love all around this community. Now, without further ado, let's dive in to today's topic. The number one key, key item that you need for being in the new normal are signages. Super, super important for us to actually let customers know that you are open. This is one of the major, major pain points after interviewing tens and tens of restaurant owners out there because they just don't know which restaurants are open. Just call up your friend and ask them, hey, you know what? Do you want to check up this uh, old restaurant that we usually go to? The first question that comes to mind and that comes up all the time is, are they even open? When are they open? What are the new operating hours? Which is the reason why it is super crucial if you're a restauranteur to utilize your dead space, utilize the different windows that are out there, utilize all the signages that you can possibly have. Aesthetics, ambience, and all those good stuff can go out the door right now and just have all the signages to let everyone know that you are open first and foremost. Now that you understand the importance of the signages, the dead space that you can utilize, it is also equally as important for you to update all your online real estate. What are some of the online real estate that we can talk about? Google My Business. In the Google My Business section, it is crucial for you to update your operating hours, your pandemic operating hours, and you can actually select that field to let people know that this is your temporary operation of hours. You should also update Yelp. You should also update your website and social media and all the relevant online real estate to let everyone know because the last thing you want is for people to see discrepancy that they go on Google, they see that you're open at three, but they go on your website, they say that you're open at five, and your social media says that you're open at 4.30. The, these kind of discrepancy would really push your customers off because they feel confused, they don't wanna come in, and you're not open, and they just don't wanna waste a trip. And that's the reason why it is super, super, super crucial for you to update and align all your signages and align all your operating hours to let people know that you are open first and foremost. The second best practice is to diversify. It is super crucial to diversify at this point because the end of the pandemic is nowhere to be seen. We don't know how long that we cannot dine in as a service anymore. That's the reason why we cannot just be sitting here like ducks. We need to incorporate different avenue, different streams to allow us to actually be agile and to collect the multiple revenue stream. And as we can see, Starbucks, all these big companies, Chick-fil-A, they're all now gobbling up drive through uh, location. So in that way, they can actually change the way and really adapt to how people are shopping. Curbside pickup, these are all great and better things that they're doing. In addition to that, to diversify means that you can offer different types of offering for your menu as well. You don't need to just offer food. You can offer meal kits, you can offer sauces, you can offer grocery items for your community. So then that way you can get them to come in. They don't need to go to the grocery market and that in turn would generate more and more revenue for you, but also brand recognition and brand loyalty at the same time. Check out this gentlemen of how they made an extra $50,000 through their online courses. And this gentleman does only create a bar experience. So definitely be creative out there and to diversify is definitely key in today's environment. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash the like button. So then that way I know this is the type of video that you enjoy. Now let's go right back. The third best practice is to redesign your menu. Redesign your menu so then that way your menu can be good for delivery. Because if you're serving fries, 
then unfortunately it's not going to taste good after 30 minutes being in a packaged box. It's going to be soggy and at the end of the day you don't want people to leave you bad reviews because of just the characteristics of your item. And that's the reason why we need to be super mindful on the items that we're offering to our customers. Second thing is to actually make sure that all your menu items are hearty and comforty. That's what people are craving for. They don't want the fine dining food. They want something that is hearty, comforty to make them feel good in this whole political unrest and all the craziness that is happening in the world right now. Another reason why you need to redesign your menu is to cut off the low margin items, the ones that are really high cost that people are not ordering as much because right now all we're focusing on is to stay alive to fight another day. So only have items in your menu to actually counter that. That is low in production cost but high in margins. And another thing is to cut out the items that don't have any recycled ingredient use. And that's what we see even McDonald's are doing. They're cutting out a lot of their menu items because they want to recycle what they're sending in. And that's how you can be able to save on a ton of spoilage from your cost of goods sold. The fourth best practice is to connect with your customers. I know a lot of you guys are struggling day by day, just trying to fight another day. So that's why you're going to put your head down and you don't engage with your customers as often as you want. During this exact moment and this time, your customers are all wanting to support the local business, are wanting to go on this journey with you. So this is a great time to share your experience, share your struggles, share your hurdles, share everything with your customers through your social media and throughout this whole process. And as you take it one step at a time, as you have these triumphs, these wins, you can celebrate with your customers. And in turn, that's how loyal customers are built through thick and through thin. That's the reason why you need to go out there and start connecting to your customers and share with them your vulnerabilities. So there you go guys, the four best practices that you need to survive in the new normal. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are looking a little bit for something more in depth, definitely check out our masterclass. It is a free hour long training in the description below and that's what I host every single quarter to deliver you all the value in starting a brand new restaurant, a profitable brand new restaurant. We talk about from concept to hiring to customers, everything. This is completely free. Make sure you guys check it out in the description below. Otherwise, I would love to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe along the journey. I'll see you guys in the next video.